knows good things come in pairs. And it's the same in volleyball as having two really good players usually results in success. So they will name, or at least attempt to name, uh, some of the best one-two combos of UAP Season 81. So let's ask Anne and Bangs for their uh, best attacking duos in the UAAP today. Uh, Anne, I'll, I'll start with you, and maybe we can... Pick a, get a pair from right now the leading team in the team standings, the Ateneo Lady Eagles. Okay, so from the Lady Eagles, um, Wong and Tolentino, um, I, I think the connection between these two, whether it's in front or at the back, it's just um, flawless. They can execute plays without even looking at each other. Yeah, I remember there was this one instance yesterday. Uh, so Dina, uh, you know, uh, uh, she set up uh, Tolentino, and I remember Quicker Anton play. saying... Uh, Kat knew. She knew exactly what was going to happen, and that's the kind of connection that mm. these two have. That was a back quick yes. attack yes. for Katolintino. Everyone thought it's going to Madi Madayag, and then Katolintino hit it, and we're like going crazy wow. in the venue. <laughs> okay, let's move to UST and Banks. Very intrigued with this pair that you wrote down for for UST. Uh, I can vividly remember back in 2017 when the Philippine team was in Singapore for ASEAN Schools Games. Uh, Ea Laure told me, Kuya Mac, gustong gusto ko yung set ni Mafe Galanza. They were teammates, but they didn't know they'd end up in UST together. And now, you can see why Ea likes the sets of Mafe. It's um, magaan na tumitirik sa ere, which is the the best kind of set na masarap paluin talaga eh. So, yun, I, that, that's the reason why I picked this duo. Uh, and then for you, and moving to the UP Lady Maroons, uh, Ayel Estonier and Tots Carlos. This 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 pair has experience. They have they now have experience of winning titles in the off season. Um, how solid is this partnership for UP? Well, I think um, these two players we've mentioned they're very senior already in the team. Um, I think what helps and what makes them really solid is that. All sets don't have to be perfect. If the passes are not perfect, ginagawa ng paraan itong dalawang to. And, and still, the connection is there. They still are able to deliver the plays. Your reaction to this UP uh, tandem base? Uh, seniors doing senior things. Mm -hmm. Seniors so, doing senior really things. Really impressive for me, this Carlos and Estranera connection. Okay, now, uh, Banks, you have an FEU tandem that you really want to focus on. This is really my favorite. Your favorite? Yeah. Yes, this is my favorite <laughs> because uh, Negrito, as a setter, for me this year, is the most entertaining. Uh, her sets to Domingo especially because the tempo is very, very fast. And parang... I'm, I'm not discrediting women, pero parang pag when I see them do the quick play, parang panlalaki yung napapanood ko na quick attacks eh. So, ang ganda, ang ganda panoorin. So, I just want to see consistency from Negrito. She can do it. I know she can do it. If she can master that consistency, uh, don't count FEU out of the final four race or even the finals race just yet. I don't think anyone is based on the yeah. team standings. They're yeah. right there in the thick of things. And, and uh, do you see why Banks is so in love with this Negrito and Domingo partnership? Well, I think, you know, for in the past, FEU has struggled with which setter they would actually field. And usually they change setters, right? So Cayuna and Negrito, papalit palit yan. But this time they're sticking with um, Negrito, bringing in Cayuna at, at you know, one point um, at a time in a game. But Negrito um, also, I think. Uh, She's not as consistent, but mm -hmm. she's able to deliver a lot of things um, well also in a game. Yun lang eh, consistency, but she's the making... serves. All, her serves are also good, and she's making all of her attackers look really good. Okay, um, from the La Salle Lady Spikers, uh, Michelle Cobb and Jolinda De La Cruz, another intriguing pair. You have Michelle Cobb, she's a veteran of this partnership. Jolina is the newcomer. Um, what makes this partnership potent so far for La Salle? Uh, let's let's be honest. Um, Michelle Cobb is can do better, but uh, this tandem of uh, Cobb and De La Cruz, it's uh, a perfect example of um, spikers making setters look good sometimes, because uh, she's just feeding Jolina the balls and Jolina is delivering. Kaya ma appreciate mo din na si Cobb, she recognizes where to bring the ball. 
kung sino mainit ang kamay, dun mo dalin. Kung wala kang other choice, eh, wala kang... Just, just do your job, feed her the ball, and she will take care of uh, your thoughts. Well, that, that's true. A lot of times, you'll see that, um, you know, if you're an attacker who doesn't choose a ball, um, your setter gives it to you. You make a point out of it, um, and the setter makes that right decision. Whether the set is a little bit off, that is already good because it means she is thinking. Okay, when people look at, uh, you know, a pair, no, a setter and, and, and a hitter pair, what's the what's the key ingredient? I mean, what is, what is it that makes a pair work like the pairs that we just mentioned? I think it's the connection. It's it's knowing the right timing. It's um, whether the ball is off, you have to run for it. You set it up, hmm, di, na hindi ganong ka exacto, but still, um, they're able to convert into points. That is a good thing. Sa akin, sir, uh, communication. At, at one point of UST's game, na nagkaroon ng minor sprain yata si Laure, hindi siya finifeed ng bola ni Galanza. And then, after a rally, you can uh, read yung mouth ni Laure. She's saying, andito ko, kaya ko, kaya ko. She's telling La uh, Galanza, bigyan mo ko ng bola. So, the communication, importante siya eh. Okay, if Banks' is favorite, and, and you know, Banks is very forthright about it, ang favorite niya talaga yung Kyle Negrito and Seth Domingo, which would be yours, Ad? I mean, we're just curious here. Uh, of, of, of the tandems that we mentioned, which is your, I guess, the, the most impressive for you in UAP 81? For me, so far, it's Wong and Tolentino. They've been um, the most consistent, actually. Um, again, paulit-ulit ako dito, be it frontline or backline, they've memorized and they've basically measured tansyadong-tansyado uh, na ni Wong kung gusto ni Tolentino. True. Ang ganda, sir, kasi um, hindi mo lang nagagamit si Kat Tolentino sa, ano, eh, sa harap. And it's not as if parang afterthought lang na wala na akong mabigyan, bibigyan ko kay Kat sa likod. No way, eh, it's part of the plan. Pag, pag binato niya sa back row, yun talaga yung gusto nilang play. So it's, it's a thing of beauty for me. And there you go. Uh, these are the top uh, setter, attacker duos right now in the UAP. Uh, Wong and Tolentino, Estraniero Carlos, Negrito Domingo, favorite ni Banks, <laughs> Galanza Laure, and Cobb. De La Cruz. Uh, right, we're not yet done. Still ahead. We will discuss our guests' dream for six for the women's national volleyball team. I bet you'd find this very, very interesting, so stay with us. Thank you for watching The Score. Don't forget to subscribe to ABS-CBN Sports YouTube channel to be updated with the latest games.